Well, tonight I'm making a project for work. It is a motor mounting plate to, to adapt from a NEMA 23, like a stepper motor, to a 56C plate for, uh, that's a 56C is the name of a standard size of a motor. So I'm hooking up to a gearbox that's meant to work with the 56C motor, but I'm using a NEMA 23 instead. I drew the part up using FreeCAD, and then I used the path module to generate the G-code, and then I am using CNCJS, which runs in a web browser, and it allows me to control my CNC machine, which is a Arduino-powered Gerbil setup, and this is the z-axis and a xy so it's just three stepper motor drivers i keep it covered someday i'll make a real control box for it um, but for now i just don't want any chips getting on the circuit boards especially not aluminum chips well you can see that the chips came off of this this is styrene so these styrene chips got a little bit hot um, and I actually had to go through several in several times and actually pick the chips out because anything that didn't come out melted and stayed in there and they got recut by the router. It was able to handle it since it's only plastic, but I have broken bits in styrene before, especially thinner bits, because um, even though you might think you're only cutting say a sixteenth of an inch deep if the chips are packed down in there it's as if you're cutting the, f the full quarter inch still so styrene's not the best material especially for me since my router can't move very quickly if i could move it quicker then the speed that i have would probably be okay it would cut more per tooth and it would get it would actually not get as hot Right now what's happening is it's barely moving and the speed, the uh, spindle is so fast, it's just melting more than it really is cutting. I mean, this is better than I've seen in the past. There's some actual chips, but um, something like, or a different spindle that could turn slower or motors that can move it faster would be better or just avoid styrene. I don't love it, but since this was a prototype, um, I was okay with it, so I guess what I can do now is pull it out. It'll probably need cleaned up a little bit. I still have to drill a hole in the center for the motor axle. Um, this quarter inch hole is not quite big enough, but I used it to keep the part down. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little weird. Um, Ugh. So the next thing I'm going to look at is my holes. Now you can see some of the holes don't look too bad. That is almost completely circular. However, take a look at these two, especially this one. Look how flat that is. There must be something, maybe a piece of uh, dirt or some chips on my... I'm not sure, on either my X or my Y lead screws. They probably are not very clean. I've cleaned them in the past and that seemed to help, but I'm not sure yet. That's not gr terrible. I mean, well, it is terrible, but I can clean it up with a drill bit. Anyway, that's what I'm doing tonight. Thanks for watching.